Hello everyone. Welcome to Clean Coder YouTube channel. So if you are visiting this channel for the first time, I'll highly recommend you to please subscribe to this channel as I make interview style lead code problem tutorials quite frequently. So today we are going to solve this problem number 141, uh, linked list cycle. So again, this is a really, really uh, widely asked interview problem or question. So we'll be going through different, different approaches. So before that, let's uh, check out the problem statement from the lead code website. So let's go through the problem statement line by line. Given head the head of a linked list, determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. Okay. There is a cycle in a linked list. If there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, position is used to denote the index of the node that tails next pointer is connected to. Note that position is not passed as a parameter. Uh, return true if there is a cycle in the list and false otherwise. Okay, so let's uh, check the example one. This is a simple linked list and we are supposed to uh, return true in this case because clearly uh, when I am following this list, I'll enter this cycle and I'll clearly go in the cycle. So there is a cycle in this list. So we are supposed to return true in this case. Let's move to the example two. Uh, again, there is a cycle in this. So uh, we'll return true in this case. So in the third uh, example, there is no cycle, right? So in this case, we are supposed to return false. So these are the three sample test cases which they have given to us. Let's check out the constraints also. Uh, the number of nodes in the list is in the range 0 to 10 to power 4. Okay, so nodes values between 10 to power 5 negative to 10 to power 5 positive. Cool. Position parameter is like uh, not required and it is given like extra. Like we really don't require this. So we are going to skip this line. So there is also a follow up uh, question which states can you solve it in O of 1 constant memory? Sure sir, we will try. So let's move to the whiteboard for more in depth analysis. Okay, so this is like the linked list, standard singly linked list. So it has a forward pointer and like this, there could be a cycle in the list, right? So if I start iterating from this node, I'll reach this node, right? I'll trace the next point, I'll reach this node, then this, then this, then this, then again, I'll reach this node. So this node I am reaching twice. So clearly there is a cycle. So uh, we can, uh, what we can do is, uh, let's check out in the next slide as our first approach. So using extra space, we can brute force this problem as uh, following. Let's iterate the linked list with the previous and current pointer and store the mapping in a collection like hash map. Okay. So we'll store the previous and current mapping in a collection like hash map. Now, uh, before inserting previous current mapping in the hash map, we can check whether this mapping already exists, right? So if it exists, then it implies there is the cycle and otherwise there is no cycle is present. Don't worry, I am going to dry run this algorithm on this sample test case and uh, let's assume this is our sample input and this is our hash map, right? So I am standing here and I'll start iterating. So my previous and uh, current mapping would be this is like my previous and this is my current, right? So previous current mapping would be uh, 100, 200, like these are the addresses. So this is 100, this is 200. Then I'll move forward. Okay. Then I'll move previous to next and current to next. So previous would be here, current would be here, right? So now uh, again, I store this mapping in uh, this hash map. Okay. So 200, 300. Okay. So again, I'll move uh, forward. And at this moment, I don't know whether cycle is there or not. So I'll move forward. So I'll go previous here and my current would be here. Okay. So again, I'll store this mapping in my hash map. So my hash map would have 300 and 100. Okay. 
now again i'll move both of them one step forward so what would happen is current would come here and previous would come here now at this moment before inserting in the hash map i already know that there is this mapping which already exists so clearly i am landing at an address which was already present in this hash map so clearly i am coming in a cycle so at this moment i can break out of the loop and i can say that there is a cycle in the linked list so i can return true in that case and similarly if there is no cycle like this case then if this was the case then clearly this hash map would never contain a mapping like uh, there won't be a case when there is an entry which we visit again and that was already present so clearly in that case you can return false so let's uh, analyze the time and space complexity for this problem okay so time complexity is clearly o of n and space complexity is also o of n because we are using extra hash map collection so this was the brute force approach and now let's check the optimized approach for this problem okay so the optimized approach is our quite famous and uh, well known slow and fast pointer approach so uh, I'll, I'm giving you detailed steps so uh, you can under, understand this algorithm better with these steps. So in first step, uh, we can keep the slow and fast pointer at head of the list. Okay. So now uh, we move the fast pointer two steps at a time and slow pointer just one step at a time. Okay. So these two steps we need to follow. And if slow pointer meets fast pointer, then uh, the loop exists otherwise there is no loop present so this is clearly very very uh, straightforward approach and uh, it works well and uh, let's discuss the time and space complexity for this solution so time complexity is o of n and space complexity is o of one only because we are not using any extra collection here so space complexity is o of one so in the next slide, I'm going to do a code walkthrough for this solution. And I am translating this pseudocode in terms of code. So let's check out that. Okay, so pseudocode is large, but code is really, really small. So let's check that out. Uh, this is Boolean, uh, true or false, we are supposed to return. And hash cycle is the name of the function, and we are given a head. So clearly, if head is null, or if head dot next is null, so clearly if an empty linked list is passed to us or a linked list like this is passed to us then i can directly say that there is no cycle in the list so this is for that so in the next line we are taking a fast pointer and slow pointer and pointing them to head let's uh, dry run this on our first test case so this is the linked list which contains self loop so slow and fast pointer would both be pointing here okay so now what would happen we are we'll enter the while loop so fast is not equal to null and fast dot next is not equal to null we will enter inside so fast is fast dot next dot next it will be here only and slow is slow dot next again slow would be here only so if fast is slow yes it will return true so it will exit from this and the function will return true in this case and yes the cycle exists and we are returning the correct solution and now let's try run this on our second test case so let's assume slow is there and fast is there okay so both are pointing to the first node so again uh, we'll enter this while loop and now fast would be fast is equal to fast dot next dot next so i'll move the fast two steps okay so fast is here and slow would be here okay so slow is here okay so fast is clearly not equal to slow and we'll go to the next iteration of the uh, while loop right so now what would happen is uh, uh, fast is fast dot next dot next okay fast would come here okay and we are also moving slow one step forward okay slow would be here okay so clearly fast is not equal to slow so we'll enter the uh, next iteration of the while loop so now we are going to move past again two steps so past would be this is one step this is second step so past would point here okay now again we'll move the slow 
one step forward so slow would also point here okay so now at this moment this condition would execute and fast is pointing to the same reference as slow so we are going to exit through this and yes we are going to return true okay so this is our second test case let's check out the third test case now third test case is like a false test case so slow and fast would initially be here and uh, i'll enter this while loop so fast is not equal to null fast dot next is also not equal to null so i'll move fast two steps forward okay so i'm going to move fast two steps forward so fast would point here and uh, my slow would point here okay so now i'll check if fast is slow return true no fast is not equal to slow so we'll check the while loop condition fast is not equal to null but fast dot next is null so it means we are already at the end of the list and there is no cycle so in this case we am we are going to return false so this is the slow and fast pointer approach like this is a really really common question asked in interview setting so i need to prepare you need to prepare this really well and there are certain uh, questions also which are sometimes asked by interviewers like uh, these were asked in one of the interviews in which i appeared so uh, one of the interviewer asked me the proof like mathematical proof why this works and uh, he also asked a variation like what if we move a uh, fast pointer three steps instead of two steps so uh, would this work in that case or it will fail or will the algorithm improve in terms of time and speed or uh, the result would be same so i'm asking you same question to you and you need to answer this in the comment section so if uh, you are not able to answer this feel free to comment like uh, i'll reply and i'll answer these questions so thanks a lot for watching this tutorial i'll highly recommend you to please subscribe my channel clean coder you can also join our instagram community clean coder community so thanks a lot for watching this video